So in an interesting interpretation, the witch herself comes back to break the spell. Or to do the misdirection dance while the actors switch out behind a sheet. You don't see a lot of witches with tie-dye legs. What's with all the lightning? Do they need to power the beast's flux capacitor? Where the hell did this shirt come from? Prince Alexander of Daventry! And now I'm having second thoughts. You look like you're 11. So whatever happened to the servants? Oh, I'm sure they're fine. Well, Gaston's still on the loose. Hey, Karma will catch up to him. Didn't someone mention me having a father? He went to live on a farm where he could play with all the other fathers. Snow White's dad. Cinderella's dad. Phineas and Candace's biological dad. Is he at least reunited with Mom? Nah, she ran off to Acapulco with Ariel's mom. So we finally get the sounds of Jessica Fletcher singing an Oscar song, the couple begins to dance, some cosplayers of Charlotte from Princess and the Frog show up, the couple actually kisses on stage, unlike other couples in this park I could name, and... some bellhops get lost on their way to the Tower of Terror. Do I want to know where they're going or why the bellhops are coming with them? Your rooms are not ready yet, but you can wait in the library. Oh crap, we're supposed to be next door, I'm sorry. Yeah, spin, whatever, spin. You know, I used to think this was the most dizzifying Disney attraction. Huh, spinning within spinning. Spinception, even though that's not the thing in the movie the title refers to, but whatever, this is the internet. How much you want to bet one of the developers of the show framed his memo from Eisner suggesting they change the title to Spin City? Okay, if they're gonna drag out the ending this long, can they at least include the scouring of the Shire? But then the royal couple emerges, dressed in their iconic romantic dance outfits. And they proceed to serve the rest of these so-called dancers by... ...doing the exact same dance we've been watching for what I'm pretty sure has been the past two hours. You know, if this was the Haunted Mansion, I'd be leading. Okay, as a general rule, I try not to comment on the actors in the show for a few reasons. For one thing, they change from show to show, and I prefer to talk about the consistent experience that you'll get when you come to Disney World, Taylor Swift notwithstanding. But more importantly, they may be actors, but they're also theme park employees. Every single one of them is giving it their all over and over in shows largely designed to funnel people into gift shops. And having worked in an amusement park myself, even if it was a less glamorous job at a less glamorous park, I don't want to make cheap cracks about people who are just doing their jobs and doing them well. However, it does make me really, really happy how much the prince here looks like Barmy Fungi Phipps. I don't think I've ever been to Kensington. Yes, you have. Your mother lives there. Oh, that Kensington. That actor has no line, so only Belle gets mic'd. Beauty and the Beast. Hey, great to see you. You're all fired. Yeah, scram. Ha! They kissed twice! Take that, Ariel and Eric. Enjoy your passionless marriage. 